I'm Brittany Lewis, a breaking news reporter here at Forbes. Joining me now is Bob Ward, pollster with Fabrizia Ward. Bob, thank you so much for joining me again. Happy to be here. Before you joined me the last time, it was before the cataclysmic shift of this election, but you're joining me now and we're going to talk about it. I want to talk about first a poll that the AARP released in Georgia showing former President Donald Trump beating Vice President Kamala Harris by two points. What are some of your takeaways? Well, I think the, the big takeaway from Georgia is um, it is back into the toss-up state category. Um, prior to President Biden uh, leaving the ticket, uh, Georgia had been moving itself outside of the battleground realm of states. Um, you know, it was so close in 2020, but um, most of the polling averages uh, taken uh, in early July and late June showed uh, uh, former President Trump with about a five point lead over President Biden in those races. In this poll that we did for AARP, um, in uh, the multi-candidate field, uh, we have uh, Trump ahead uh, by uh, a couple points, uh, which is within the margin of error. Um, on the head-to-head -head between Trump and Kamala Harris, uh, it's tied. So this is an extremely close race uh, in Georgia, and it's um, it's rightfully back into the, the battleground you know, realm of states. It's an extremely close ra uh, race, but the AARP poll found that there are major disparities amongst different demographics when it comes to who they support, Harris or Trump. Can you walk us through some of those? Big differences. Uh, there are two campaigns for president going on in Georgia. Um, race plays an enormous issue uh, in a state like Georgia, which is incredibly diverse. Uh, it is uh, among the battleground states, the most diverse state, the least white state. Um, uh, just under a third of voters in Georgia uh, are uh, African-American. Uh, and among black voters in Georgia, um, you know, Kamala Harris is doing extremely well. Uh, among white voters in Georgia, Donald Trump is doing extremely well. Uh, and so there are great disparities, um, you know, between white voters and, and black voters uh, in the state. And um, just give you some numbers on this. Um, among white voters, uh, Donald Trump is ahead by 38 points. Among black voters, Harris is ahead by 70 points. And because there are, you know, um, nearly 60% of the electorate is white, and 31% of the electorate is black, you know, those disparities bring us to a point where this race is really a toss up.